Good morning, Modern Steaders. In this morning's video, we're going to be going over some of the equipment we're going to be using in the three-day pig harvesting class. This is the stuff that Hand Hewn Farm recommends, and when we're putting on the class, we want to make sure we have everything here that we need. So we'll start off first. We're going to be using this Nesco food grinder. This will hold up to five pounds of meat at a time to grind. There's different blades that you would put in, so that way you can get different coarseness of the meat when you're done grinding it. This was sent up by a modern steader. We want to thank you for that. We have a nice commercial grade plastic tub to let our bacon sit in while it's curing. We have plenty of salt. We got sea salt. You can use kosher salt. Gonna need some good sized stainless steel mixing bowls. This way you can mix up all of your ground meat and flavor your sausage. You can let your casing sit in here and rehydrate. We'll be getting plenty of uses out of the stainless steel bowls. We have some butcher twine. This way we can tie up our roast and our hands and make them look pretty. We want everything to look nice, don't we? We have a digital hanging scale. This way we have the pigs butchered. We can hang them up and find out exactly how much they weigh. This is a nice crane scale. You put a hook on it and you can hang your animal from here. You'll have, we'll have this going to our meat pole that we built. We're gonna have to weigh our pigs with a tape measure beforehand and then afterwards we'll see how accurate we are with the digital scale. We're gonna be grinding up and making our own sausage so we're gonna need a place to store those. So we have some freezer bags. Now after you have all your ground meat into your bag, you need a way to seal them. So right here is a West, is Western's machine. You put your bag in here, you have your tape on a roller, you pull it down, pull it out, and it slices the tape and it wraps it and seals it up nicely for you. We have our gambrel that we'll be using to hang the pigs up so we can gut them and clean them. To make meat sticks, we bought natural sheep casings to make those. For wrapping and storing our meat, we're going to use cling wrap. And we got white paper that has plastic coating on one side. And then we have a nice dispenser here for the paper. We said freezer tape. This isn't just regular old masking tape. If you use regular masking tape when it's in the freezer, the glue's going to fail and the tape's going to fall off. So if you're going to be packing and freezing your own meat, make sure you buy the right kind of tape. We're leaving everything in its packages for now. We're not quite ready for the class. It's going to be here in a few days. So once the class is here, we'll get everything out and get everything assembled. If you want to see everything in action, make sure you come back and watch the three-day pig harvesting videos. Now to be able to get our 55-gallon drum of water up to scalding temperature quick, we have this Bayou double jet burner. The reason why we bought this cooker is because it's supposed to work fast. So I hope it lives up to its reputation. We're going to find out pretty soon. You're going to need some sort of propane torch so that way you can get the pesky hairs off that we can't get off while scraping. We're going to be using a meat bone saw, some butchering knives, and some antique scrapers. Andy and Doug from Hand Hewn Farm are going to be bringing those. So if you want to see them, you got to make sure you come back to the videos too. You're going to need a nice surface that you can cut on. We have this butcher block work table that we'll be cutting our meat on. And we have stainless steel tables that we can be doing all of the other work on. And we have a nice big stainless steel mop sink. We have a Hacka sausage stuff. I think that's how you pronounce it. If not, I'm sorry. I'm going to leave links in the description down below where you can purchase all these products. This is a 15 pound sausage stuffer. So what that means is that it will hold 15 pounds of sausage. The reason why I bought this one, it was a little bit more expensive. It came with stainless steel tubes, so good for cleaning. And these are gonna last a while. The other ones that I was seeing came with plastic tubes. A couple of reasons I didn't like that is they're probably gonna break, and are they gonna hold in the different smells and flavors of the meat? So I didn't wanna go with that. To save 20 bucks, it wasn't worth it. So we have this. Comes with different tubes for doing different things. I want to say this is for sausage, like bratwurst, sausage, this is for a breakfast sausage, and this one right here is a smaller one for a meat stick. I'm 
gonna give a quick little overview of the sausage stuff. Or if you wanna go in depth to any more of the products we're using, leave it in the comments down below and we'll make sure to be doing some in depth videos on the products you'd like to see. So we got our hand crank, which was nice about this one. This has two different speeds. You have a fast and a slow speed, which is nice. And we turn the sausage stuff around. It's all stainless steel construction, which is for easy cleaning. You give it a tap, it falls down, and you load your sausage into here. And then you'll pick the size tube that you want, install it, lower the arm down until you feel pressure. Then once you feel pressure, you're going to take your arm off, slide it down, put it on the other gear, and now you're going a lot slower, and this is going to make it better for stuffing your sausage. The fast speed though is, could you imagine cranking this just to get it up and down? That'd be a pain. Most of the other stuffers just had one gear. This is a decent amount of equipment. You don't need to buy everything all at once. Find out if anybody in your area has one that you can borrow. Or for starters, like the meat grinder, you could stuff sausage with that also. So you can stop with that. If you decide you like sausage, you can invest in a sausage stuffer. And just keep adding from there. A lot of the stuff we're going to be using in our kitchen anyways, or we already use in our kitchen, so that's a win-win. And the other way to look at it is, we made a big investment this year into equipment. That's the price it would cost for us to bring a pig to the butcher shop. So we invested once up front in the equipment we need for butchering our pigs, and in the following years, we're not going to have to buy any more equipment. By spending the money up front, you're going to be saving it in the long run. If you guys would like us to go any deeper on any of the products we showed you today, Leave it in the comments down below and we'll make sure we do some more in-depth videos after the three-day pig harvesting class. We'll have links to all the products in the description down below. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Go down, hit the subscribe button. While you're there, turn on the bell notification and that'll let you know every time we upload a new video or go live. And check out our website. I'll put a link for that here and in our description down below. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.